Double Down Reviews. Join us this month for our March to Infinity War. Things are getting serious. Hey everybody, welcome back to Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And today we have Thor from Thor Dark World from Hot Toys. Uh, first impressions? He's sweet looking. He's the god of thunder. He is. He's, pretty, he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, yeah, so what they did is uh, Mjolnir is actually made of metal, so if anybody ever gets on your nerves, just crack him in the tooth. Um, and then, uh, so they, they put kind of like, so this Thor has the chainmail armor over the over his arms. The other Thor figure didn't have that beforehand. Um, I'm trying. I don't remember if it was for Avengers or for the first Thor movie that he doesn't have armor. Oh no, he because he loses the armor in the first movie when Odin sends him to Earth. Yeah. Um, but so this one has the armor, uh, and the way they did it is it's kind of just like a rubber that goes over the actual body of the figure, um, so it doesn't really restrict him from movement, which is nice. Um, they also put a cool, it's kind of like a stiff part of the cape to keep the shape of the cape that goes over his shoulders, kind of like that iconic, big, flowy look that Thor's cape has. Um, lots of detail on the actual costume itself. Uh, the cape is removable, it just has pegs, and they actually send in the case, like little prong, just pop them out. Uh, let's talk about packaging before we go any further on the figure. Packaging says Thor, Thor of the Dark World on the bottom. On the back you get a picture of Thor with the credits inside. More credits. And a Hot Toys label. And then the usual figure cradle accessories around it. And it's all in the shape of a big old Molnir. <laughs> uh, this Thor came with, uh, I think it was a total of eight hands. He came with Mjolnir, and then he also came with his uh, his cloak for his leisure time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and how you put this on is you just pop the head off, use the little prong that I was telling you about to remove the buckles, and then put this on over it, and. Uh, Looks, looks just like how it does in the movie. <clears throat> all in all, uh, I went for this Thor because it was a traditional Thor look. Um, I'm, I'll probably still plan on getting the Gladiator Thor or the Thor from Infinity War. But as of right now, just the classic long red cape, the long hair, the beard, the hammer. Uh, I just kind of, I wanted the iconic Thor. Speaking of hair, the mighty Thor. Yeah. It looks like his hair restricts a lot of movement because it covers his shoulders. His hair does restrict movement. It's not too bad because they, they made it with a soft plastic, so it it kind of just goes around wherever you want it to go. But it definitely takes away from posability if you wanted to have like an action pose, I suppose. Um, pretty much the best way to have him pose would just be <laughs> standing relaxed. And uh, holding, holding the hammer at attention, and maybe swinging it around. But uh, yeah, it's a good point. I didn't think about that really. Um, we can talk about the head sculpt. Head sculpt's really good. Paint job, application, and everything on there is really, really awesome. I like when uh, it's just one of my things. But I like when Hot Toys has like a screaming face or anything like that, like an expression face. Because you can see all the detail that they pour into it. Like, this one, he's not even screaming. He just has his mouth kind of open. But you can see his teeth, his gums. You can see his tongue, everything in there. So it just kind of adds to the detail. And he's got a flowy cape. We can look at articulation. He's got a boot cut here. So his ankle moves back and forth without being restricted. we got knee joints. Bend up real nice. Uh, front and back, my thighs. Left and right in the thighs. Waist and chest are a little restricted because of the one-piece rubber vest he wears. Arms have a shoulder cut, so they're separate, even though they have that like outer coating. 
they bend at the elbow and wrist, pop off to one pegs, and then the head also pops off to put on the other cloak. And this is about as much movement as you get out of the head back and forth because of the hair length. All right, and then we got uh, three, four open hands, two relaxed hands. I guess two, I don't even know what you'd really call these, but not relaxed, kind of like ready. Al almost <laughs> relaxed. Almost relaxed hands, and then we got two fists, and uh, that one is for holding Yolner. You can either hold it in his left or his right hands. What are you trying to do? Uh, I don't know, I'm just looking at his articulation. He's the god of hammers. There you go. It's the mighty Thor. I don't have the death grip. This is gonna have the almost death grip. There you go. Hammers, brother. <laughs> you remember how much this guy was? Two twenty nine, two twenty nine ninety nine. All right. If you like Thor, check it out. There's also like a million other versions of Thor, and they just keep on coming. They're all good. Hot Toys is great. <laughs> you just sound so angry about it. <laughs> Look at them. They're Thor. They're stupid. Enough.